hey loves welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'll be showing you guys how i make the buttercream that i was using on my last video i am so sorry to be taking so long with my videos but here we are now we are going to be using a bowl a hand mixer vanilla essence or vanilla extract whatever you have milk salt wooden spoon white margarine and guys please do not ask me for alternatives besides buttercream i mean besides butter i don't know what will be the alternative for this and we're going to be using some icing sugar and a sieve to make sure that our icing sugar does not have lumps and please note that your margarine has to be on room temperature it cannot be too soft and at the same time it cannot be too hard it just has to be at room temperature you see it has to be like that should be able to put the i don't know what these things are called but this attachment should be able to go into your buttercream and not find it hard to go through and just mix your buttercream please make sure that you mix at least if you are making like 500 grams of margarine make sure that you mix at least seven to ten minutes before you can start adding in your ice and sugar and using a spatula scrape your bowl even if you are using a stand mixer always make sure to scrape your bowl because what happens is sometimes you find that you have two different kinds of buttercream in one buttercream because you did not mix enough or not everything was mixed when you were mixing your buttercream or your icing sugar so to avoid situations where you have two types of buttercream in one please make sure you scrape your bowl and guys please do get your sieves please 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 because icing sugar you can never be guaranteed that it's clean you can never be guaranteed that it does not have any lumps because it's sugar obviously it clumps up sometimes so please make sure that you buy yourself a sieve and make sure to sift anything and then continue mixing I know my buttercream already looks white and you're wondering why is it that sometimes when you're making your buttercream it turns like a different color well that's probably because you guys are using the vanilla essence that I showed you but I will show you uh, another one that you can use in a second well maybe not a second but <laughs> I will show you to you guys and then continue adding your icing sugar bit by bit and continue to mix do not mix your buttercream for less than 15 minutes please don't do that make sure you mix and mix and mix and mix so to a point where it is soft to a point where you do not get that margarine taste just continue mixing guys it is so weird to be doing voiceovers <laughs> If I can do videos and just upload them without doing voiceovers, I'll be posting on the regular. But because I have to do voiceovers and then go ahead and add your salt. Um, the reason why I add salt is because I learned somewhere on, I don't know, was it Instagram, YouTube? Obviously, it couldn't have been YouTube. But I think it was on a food blog or something that you, when you add salt to your buttercream, it helps with uh, the sweetness like it balances out the sweetness obviously icing sugar is just sugar so it's it's going to be sweet so when you add salt you uh, I don't know how to explain that guys add salt and see the difference or stick to just using icing sugar it's totally up to you but I do add salt on mine I need to find a way to be able to explain things to you guys and this is how our buttercream looks as you guys can see it's not as soft it's a bit hard if you were to pipe this on ice on cupcakes it wouldn't pipe good so you have to continue mixing and add in your liquids at this point so if you use this vanilla essence you are going to have a darker color not really a darker color but your 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 buttercream will not be white so use the clear vanilla essence i get this from what's the name i'll try and put it put the name of my supplier in the description box below and if i don't guys i probably change my mind because <laughs> i'm not getting paid for this <laughs> i'm joking guys i'll try and put the the names in the description box below 
and you, as you guys can see when i add this clear vanilla essence it does not change color of my buttercream but when you add the other one then it will definitely change color even if you continue mixing your buttercream obviously it does help that you continue mixing if you're but if you're using the usual dark uh, color butter, uh, vanilla essence make sure that you beat and beat and beat and beat well I mean mix mix and mix and mix and mix and mix until it is pale in color it's possible guys but if you don't want to do all that work and then go ahead and purchase yourself the clear vanilla I only buy it in two liters and I get it from two shops I, I'll definitely try and give you guys the names of the shops where I get it from and the other one I usually use it for my baking in fact I use it for baking so now I have two vanilla essence. I have one for my buttercream and I have one for baking. So that I don't have to worry about trying to change the color of my buttercream. Okay, I've taken so long on this. Continue mixing. But you can see now it, it has gotten to this consistency that I want. This is the consistency that you can cover your cake with. You can crumb coat. You can cover your cake. You can even... Um, what do you call this you can even pipe it on on cupcakes and it will be stable and you can break the bibles uh, on your buttercream because obviously when you're beating you create a lot of air so you can just break the bubbles using your spatula but we are done and if you feel like your buttercream is still not at the right consistency you feel like it's still a bit hard then instead of adding your vanilla essence you can go ahead and add milk other people don't add milk so it's totally up to you also for the longest time i did not add milk but i feel like it gives my vanilla i mean my buttercream that oh god i need to do better at explaining but guys please whatever i tell you taste it out for yourself do it or you don't do it it's totally up to you but at the end of the day baking is a whole experience on its own and whatever works for you do that so try as many things and then find what works for you obviously what works for me might not work for you so it's important that you try things out try different things and find what works for you i'm done on this topic guys and i think i'm almost done with this voice over i'm already tired i'm breathing hard <laughs> And I really want to upload this video, so yeah. And unfortunately, I did not have time to do some piping techniques for you guys. I'll try and do them on a very short video, maybe it'll be like three minutes. Maybe I won't even do a voice, but I'll just like pipe with my what do you call those things with the piping bag and those nozzles i'll try it like maybe like two or three different nozzles so you can just see different techniques of piping and yeah enjoy making cakes guys we are done Okay, now we are truly truly done please don't forget to like to subscribe and to leave a comment below and do let me know what it is that you guys want me to show you next until next time